Let me give you a few more shots. My bicycle on July 14th, 2010. Uh, Collingwood used to be quite an industrial city, actually. Lots of shipbuilding. And uh, that went downhill a few decades ago. So even the subdivision is called the shipyards. But as I said, this. Uh, industry really went belly up a few decades ago and uh, in recent years Collingwood has experienced the renaissance basically on the basis of tourism um, not just day tourism or weekend tourism but lots of people that own second homes as well as people uh, who are retired that have uh, relocated here on a full-time basis and I'm really quite amazed. I haven't been in uh, Collingwood itself probably oof, for seven, ten years now. I can't remember when I was here last. Look at the nice shoreline here on Georgian Bay. And uh, since then there has been a tremendous amount of development here in this area. There's some sort of a walk here. Something is embedded. I think they're the names of French River, Mondoc, Sudoc. War Witch, Imperial Sarnia, I think they are names of ships from what I can tell. Possibly ships that have run aground somewhere in Canadian waters on the Great Lakes. But you can see the serenity around here. This part of Lake Huron is a beautiful, beautiful bay and uh, ends up being a great uh, year round destination. Blue Mountain, which is uh, Ontario's premier ski resort. Now it's not quite of alpine proportions or Rocky Mountains proportions, but it is pretty much the best that we've got here in Ontario. And a very popular ski resort. This would be a very historic building here as well, the Collingwood Terminals. They're probably grain terminals, I think, when Collingwood was still an important port city. And uh, just a lovely spot to be on a gorgeous July day, that's for sure.